Hello, my friends. Just getting set up here. Gonna add some comment. Okay. Hey guys, just putting in a little post here that I can pin up top where you're from. How do we do this? Okay, welcome everybody. But I'm just adding a little pin here that I'm gonna put some comment in kids but honestly we will get started in just a sec okay now how do you pin there we go all right Yay! Welcome everybody to this class here. This is my first live uh, painting class and I'm really excited about it. How do I get rid of the, all the comments? Um, let's see, just gonna get some, get it set up, but welcome. Get yourself comfortable, get seated, pull out your art supplies if you're gonna be doing art with us. Grab some, uh, I'm gonna talk about that in a second, what you're gonna need, but just get comfortable. I'm gonna just continue getting set up and wait for some more people to arrive into class. They're late. <laughs> All right, let's see. I want to go to, how do I watch? Anyway, that'd be cool, but I don't know if it's possible. Is it possible to watch your own live on another phone? Like if I'm creating a live, can I watch my live? Maybe if I log out. Thanks for bearing with me. Just trying to figure this out. If I log out, then I can maybe answer your questions. Yay, I'm glad you're here, Frankie. And I know I saw your lungs, they look beautiful. So let's see, I'm gonna try to go to... So what I wanna do is speak into this one and then watch some questions on my, my phone so I can answer questions while the art is being recorded. So I'm just trying to do that. Does anybody know an easy way to do that? Let's see, I'm gonna type for two seconds and then I'm gonna just get started. I know, right? <laughs> oh, really? Goodwill? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. Oh well, unfortunately if you have questions, I don't know if I'll be able to answer them while we're going. Um, I haven't figured that out. So anyway, let's get started. Let's do some art. I'm so... You know, grateful that you guys are joining me here today. This is going to be just an opportunity to do some art, just to get, um, you know, for your kids, for you. So I'm going to speak to the kids. I have to remember, I'm speaking to the children here. So welcome, welcome to this art class. And I'm just so happy that you guys are here to make art with me. And we're going to have fun and play with color and doodling today. So first, I, we're going to actually, I'm also going to do some... The, the the subject, this is so weird because you can't edit anything. So any mistake you make, any blah, 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 any ums, they're just going to be on the video. So that's how it is. But anyway, just bear with me. This is my first time doing this and I'm so excited that you guys are here. And today we're going to be drawing some lungs and we're going to be adding color and we're going to be adding design to some lungs. Like you can see some that I've done on my Instagram and also I have one pair here that I was working on and I'll show you. So this is one pair of lungs that I've just did. We are gonna be doing lungs today as well. So the reason that we're gonna be drawing lungs today is because right now, as you all know, we're in a crazy pandemic in our world and there is a disease going around and this disease is attacking our lungs. So let's think about our lungs for a minute. 
If you can think about that part of your body inside of you, that's two big balloons that when you breathe in through your mouth, all the air comes in and it fills up the balloons, your lungs. And then when you breathe out, when you exhale, the air comes out of your lungs. Just think about that for a minute. Think about your lungs. Think about what you're Think about your breathing. Take a breath right now and just feel your lungs working. And be really grateful that your lungs are working for you. Just take a moment and breathe and then release your breath. Think about the lungs. Think about them as little balloons filling up with air and then filling, letting the air go. This is your lungs doing work for your body. Your lungs, when the air comes in, the lungs do an amazing job. What they do, I'm not a scientist and I don't work with the body, but I do know that they, they're like filters. So anything bad that is in the air that comes into your body, the lungs take away that bad stuff. They clear it out. So you go the good stuff in and sends oxygen to all of your blood and all of your body that we so desperately need. We need to live. So you can thank your lungs. We can thank our lungs that they provide air and clean air for our body to live. And right now, a lot of people's lungs around the world are not doing well. And that's why we're staying home so that we can take care of other people's lungs. So what I'm doing is I've been drawing lungs and I've been making beautiful lungs. And as I make these lungs and I paint them and I draw them and I color, I think really good thoughts about people's lungs, my lungs, your lungs, the people that are in the hospital, the people that are sick, that need some really good energy coming to their lungs. So you too, as we're drawing today, or if you do it another time, you can be sending prayers and really good thoughts to the people whose lungs might need it right now. So thank you so much for joining me in this and joining uh, together to just make some really cool, beautiful art in general and then also for this cause to just spread love to lungs. So before we get started, I just wanna talk a little bit about my supplies, what I'm using and what you can use to make some art. And this is gonna go for all my classes that I offer. I really encourage you to use what you have. You don't need to run out and get anything. In fact, you cannot go to the store and get anything because the store is closed. So let's be resourceful and use what you have. If you don't have any paper right now, you can find some cardboard or you can find a paper bag, something like that that you can draw on. You can draw on wood, you can draw on canvas, any of these things are perfect. So just pull out some paper that you have something to draw on. And I'm gonna be using my sketchbook, just like this. And then you're gonna also want something to draw with. One of my favorite things to draw with is a ballpoint pen. It's really simple, everybody probably has a ballpoint, but you can also use a pencil, you could use a marker, anything you wanna to use to draw with is totally fine. Then we're, I'm also gonna ask that you have something to color in. So that can be anything, it can be markers, it can be uh, colored pencils. I have, I somehow I um, have, I was, I'm traveling and I'm down in my parents' house in San Diego and I, actually have so many of my art supplies and I'm really glad, including this huge box of colored pencils. Now you don't have to have a huge box of colored pencils like I do. Anything is fine. Even if you have one color, two colors, it doesn't matter. Just the art, the act of drawing is going to be fun for you and is what I encourage you to do no matter what you have or don't have. You can also have some paints. I have paints here. I have, and I, and again, it doesn't matter what kind you have. Like I have a whole variety, some from Michael, some from Dick Blick, some from all over. It doesn't matter. It can be craft paint. It can be really fancy paint, whatever you want. And then if you're going to use paints, then you'd want a couple brushes and I would recommend some smaller brushes. So pull out your art supplies if you haven't already. You're also going to need something to put your paint onto. I use this, um, it was an old takeaway food little container and it's perfect. I actually really like it because I can have wet paint on one side and then I can close it and keep the paint kind of wet so I can use it again the next day. Um, another thing that I love to use are watercolor crayons. These are called Caran d'Ache and they're watercolor crayons. 
And you can see, you'll see, check it out, how much I've used these. Look, they're tiny little bits. I've used them all. Look, at they're filthy. I use them so much. Look how tiny it is. I need a new green, don't you think? You think I need a new green? My favorite one is so sad. I can't even see what the color is, but it's it's just going down to nothing, and I can't figure out what color it was. <laughs> anyway, you're also going to want some kind of rag just to wipe your paintbrush if you paint. And I have a cute bunny napkin because my mom is really great at having lots of cute napkins, and so I have a bunny one just to wipe your brush if you're gonna be painting. But you don't have to paint today. If you have color, colored pencils or markers, that will be totally fine for what we're doing. And if you're the kind of person who likes to wash your brush off, then you'll want some agua. I don't tend to wash my brush very much, but if you do, you need it. So uh, grab those things, get your little space set up. I'm gonna show you mine. I am, I am at my parents' house in San Diego, California. I live in Portland, Oregon but I happened to be down here when the whole world closed, so I just decided to stay because I love my parents and it's really nice here. It was really nice when I could go to the beach, but now, guess what? The beach is even closed. I can't go to the beach. <sighs> anyway, I wanna show you my little workspace. This is just kinda how I have it set up. Ooh, can you even see? There's some, oh, this is not even really worth it. You get the idea. Set up your space however you want. Mine's just usually a mess. But let's get this set up so that I can start drawing. I'm so glad you guys are here. Every one of you, I can't say hi to everyone because I don't, I'm not really able to see everybody, but I'm just so happy you're here. And I think I saw that Margo's here and Campbell, are you here? And Jasper, hi Jasper. It's not, I haven't met you yet, but it's nice to have you here. And lots of lots of friends. Jenny, Pam, Asia. It's so nice, you guys. I'm um, just thanks for joining me. Uh, this is like my first time doing this, and I'm hoping to offer more. So just feel free to come back and enjoy our art making together. And a couple of things I wanted to say to the adults, I suppose. Um, one is that. Uh, brr, this is totally free, and I want to offer it for free. It's 100% free if you want and you want to support me, you can donate and I'll leave a link at somewhere. I don't know. It feels really weird to ask, but I do want to say that if you want to, you're welcome to because uh, that'd be great. But it is totally my honor to offer this all the time. Um, all right, let's get started and make some art. Okay, so I'm going to try to set this up and I might have to double check this. I do not have a tripod. Oh, I want to show you guys. I don't have a tripod, so look, this is what I have. Where is it? This is what I have set up. I have two baskets, and I'm putting my iPad on the basket. So the thing is, you you don't need to have anything. Just do it, I guess, right? Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna set my iPad up. I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. You guys are awesome for bearing with me in this. <laughs> okay. So find yourself your page that you're gonna work on or pull out your paper, whatever. I also wanted to say to you guys, if for whatever reason you don't wanna draw lungs today, that's totally fine. So I wanna make sure that I'm all in here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Believe me, I did, I did try to set this up before, but I really wanna make sure you guys can see me. Okay, so we're down there and then we're up here. Okay, perfect. Now, um, if you don't feel like doing lungs, just do whatever you want. Just make art, you know? Just, if you start doing this with me and you're like, uh, you know, I'd rather do something else, like, go for it. Just hang out with us and, or not, you know, hang up on me. <laughs> I don't care. And just make art. So I think these are my measurements, I think. All right, I wish I could even see what you guys are saying. Okay, maybe I do need a tripod. Anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna think about lungs and you're gonna look up pictures, look up pictures of a lung of lungs and I will show you one the lungs are actually really simple so I'm gonna go on here and just go ahead and Google lungs and do an image of lungs um, and just find a picture of some lungs wow this is actually working so I'm gonna use this one 
It's a drawing, actually. I'd like to. Re I'd rather use. It's hard to find actual pictures of actual lungs, so I'm going to use a drawing. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to draw looking at this picture. I don't know if I can show you the picture while I'm drawing, but I'm. you can pull up a picture of lungs, or you can kind of just copy what I'm doing. So I'm going to look at the lungs. Hmm, this is probably going to be upside down for you guys. Hmm, that's okay. We're just going to go with it. So lungs are really simple. You're going to draw... Two lines. Hmm. I know what I'll do. Let's see. So. So I'm looking at the picture of lungs as I'm drawing these. You can just copy me. Or you can look at a picture as well and draw from that. I know it's upside down. This is challenging. Uh, maybe I can um, switch it around. That won't work. I'm gonna do it again because I want you guys to see it right side up. This gives you more time to uh, practice your own lungs while I'm fixing this. Just go ahead and practice drawing some lungs. Like I said, lungs are really easy. Okay, let's just... Uh, ah. So, lungs, in general, are just going to be really simple way to draw lungs. So you're going to kind of draw an upside down Y. Okay? Then, that's your lung. That's, your, that's where the air comes down, right here. Then you're going to draw the balloon part. And for those of you who are a little more sophisticated, go ahead and, and um, just like I said, look at a picture of, of lungs. For the kiddos, this is the easiest way. Does that work? You guys in there? Okay, so once, let's practice that a little bit. Get your lungs down, maybe draw once or twice. Give you guys some time to draw some lungs. And I'm gonna draw another one. Upside down. Okay, where's my top of my page? All right. Again, I am drawing my lungs upside down for you guys. Okay, I need a tripod. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm looking at the picture, but kind of drawing it upside down. The cool thing is, shapes are shapes, whether they're right side up or upside down. So I'm still looking at the picture, but I'm just looking at it upside down. So there's a pair of lungs. You can do this as big or as small as you want. Now what we're gonna do in these lungs is we're gonna do some doodles. So for me, I love doodling. Doodling is just really relaxing. So for me, doodling is just moving my pen around and letting it flow. Filling up all the spaces with cool designs. So you can go ahead and fill yours up however you'd like. You can use stripes. You can use dots, circles. I like to go back into shapes that I've made and fill them in with new shapes. Let me know if you doodle. Do you like to doodle? I love to doodle.
So just fill your your lungs in however you think would be very, would be fun for you. You can kind of go wild. You can keep it really small or get really big. I really look forward to seeing how you guys do, what you do with your lungs. You can put, if you want, you can put some hearts in here. Send extra love to the lungs. I really love stars, so. Star power to the lungs. And for me, that's basically full enough. That's all I think I'm gonna do. You may still be doodling yours and that's totally fine. Keep doodling, doodling it till it's as full as you want it. Yeah, I think that's good for me. Now, you can, sometimes you can even doodle on the outside. Like, I think it'd be kind of fun to do this. Just down here. Just for fun. You can doodle, you could even doodle in the background if you wanted to. So keep doodling if you need to keep doodling. If you're not done yet, that's totally fine. Just keep doodling. I'm gonna pull out my colored pencils and begin to color the mint. So I've decided to kind of go with a pink color scheme. I don't always think about my color scheme before I start. I just often think, oh, what color would be fun? And then I get started, but, um. I wanna do pinks just cause lungs are actually pink when they're really healthy. So now basically you've created yourself a little coloring book and you get to color your own coloring book in. So I'm gonna start doing that. And whenever you're ready, you can. You don't have to start yet if you're not at that point yet. But if you are, go for it. Now I move around, I take the same color and I do it in lots of different spots. I really just like to have fun when I color things in, when I doodle, and when I make art in general, and heck, in life in general, I just like to have fun. So, <laughs> maybe you do too. Do you like to have fun? Do you? Tell me if you like to have fun. So for me, I just kind of go with whatever I put down. So I just put the pink down. Okay, I think this orange color would be nice to add now, so I'm gonna add the orange color in random spots all over the lungs. And I want more pinks. So I like using colors that are the same color, but a little bit different. So lots of different kinds of pinks. If you saw my colored pencils, you saw that there's all these different reds and pinks, just like this, look. It's so beautiful and so inspiring to me. Just all these different shades of a similar color. Just kind of bouncing around your doodle. Fill it in in lots of different spots. I am so excited to see what you guys make. Lots of people have been sharing the lungs that they've painted on my Facebook, on my Instagram page. And if you want to share yours with me, you can too. I'd love to see what you do. And if you do more lungs, or any other art, I'd still love to see anything you do. So please, show me.
I wish that we could have a conversation right now while we're making art. I can't even see you, like if you're here or if you have a question or if you tell me that you like having fun because my iPad is upside down. So I wanna ask you questions like, what's been the most fun part of being home so much for you? What have you enjoyed? And how is it for you to be home if you have a sister or brother to be home all day with them? Are you guys having fun together? Have you done any adventures? How is it? I really wanna know. And, and some of you I think have started school online and I would love to know how that is for you. If you're enjoying that, if it's weird to see your teachers on a computer and your other classmates. If you, um, if you want to have your mom or dad type in any answers to any questions, feel free. But I can't see it right now. But just know that I, I'm thinking of you and I, I hope you're having a, a good time being home. And doing things that you love. I am. I love doing art. And you can do art anywhere. So I'm just picking all different pinks and some yellows you can see. I want to know what your favorite color is and what color you picked. So I just keep coloring until I've colored in the whole lungs. I just choose my colors by what looks interesting and what looks fun to me. You can see I threw in a little brown here because I think that would be pretty with the pinks. And one of the pinks, if you'll notice, is very purpley. Actually, a couple of them are a little more like purple than they're like red, which means that it has some blue in it. When a red is like purple, it means it has a blue in it. Some of you probably know this. When a red is like purple, it has some blue in it. So basically, in order to go from here to here, you need to add a tiny bit of blue. But if you want to go, but if you want your red more red and not purple, then you add yellow, and then it becomes a little more orangey. <laughs> There's just different kinds of reds. Purpley reds, orangey reds. Let's find an orangey red that I have. Let's see if we can find an orangey red. Do you see an orangey red in here? Let's see. Ah! I see, this one kind of looks like an orangey red to me. Or maybe it's orange. What about this one? I wish you could point to it and show me. Here's something that's kind of an orangey red. So you see how that's different than our purpley red. So I know a really cool song that I'm going to sing that is all about breathing. And I'm going to sing it, and if you feel like singing with me, you can. It's really easy. It's a good song to sing, one, while we're drawing and painting lungs, and when our earth and our people, the human people, when they need an extra bit of love in their lungs. 
Oh, before I sing, one thing I wanted to say is if you wanted to be, you could be painting in your lungs. If you prefer to paint, you could be pulling out your paints. And, you know, let me see. Let me get a tiny bit. So I'll add a little bit of paint to mine. It's simple, super easy. It's, instead of drawing in, you could just paint in. I love this color. Look at this. Where is it? How can you see it? Can you see it? The color I just squirted down. Where is it? Anyway, I hope you guys are able to see everything okay. Uh, but I'm going to use a little bit of this neon pink. Oh, there we go. See it? Look how pretty. It's super bright. And then you're going to go ahead and just kind of like fill it in. Fill your own coloring book in. But now you're filling it in with paint. And obviously, like I'm doing, you can do it with paints or co colored pencils. With paints, you need a small brush to get into these little doodles that you made. But colored pencils are just as great. And if that's what you have right now, and if that's what mom says is the best thing for you to use, I love colored pencils. They're so great, and they're so easy to do color in your doodles with. So I'm going to go back to my colored pencil in just a second. All right, I'm gonna put this brush into the water and go back to my colored pencils. Add some more pink, different kind of pink. I'm curious, do you have a colored, do you have a pencil sharpener? If you have a pencil sharpener, do you keep the pencils sharpened or not? This one, not so much. It's okay. Don't you really love when your pencils are nice and sharp, though? Or do you not? I do. I love when my pencils are really sharp. But I never sharpen them. You know what's so cool? Well, here's another one. Look at Totally not sharp. When you're in school, you guys have those awesome pencil sharpeners. Does anybody miss their pencil sharpeners at school? I'm sure that's what you miss, right? You missed your pencil sharpener, right? I know it's so hard to be out of school and not use your pencil sharpeners. It's so sad. But they are cool though. Does anybody agree with me? Although, are my friend, I have a friend named KB, and she has the most amazing pencil sharpener. It's electric, and it sharpens your pencils so great. Does anybody else have an electric pencil sharpener? I would be so jealous if you have an electric pencil sharpener at your house. Huh, then what's to miss about school if you had an electric pencil sharpener at your house? You got it made, and I'm jealous of you. Let me know if you have an electric pencil sharpener. I'm going to color my star in gold. And I'm going to focus my thinking a little bit. I'm going to think about making these lungs really powerful, that when I color them, I'm adding my magic powers that I have to make these beautiful lungs. And you are too. You're adding really, you're adding your magical, artistic, colorful, fun powers to these to this art, to your lungs. Think about that. What do your powers look like? How can you put the most of your power in here? What can you think about? I'm gonna think about someone seeing these lungs 
And when they see them, they take a deep breath. And it feels really good to them. Or maybe when they watch this video, they take a deep breath and they relax. What is your power doing for people? I'm also thinking about people who might be in the hospital right now. People that I don't know, but somebody else knows. Like somebody else, maybe their grandma or grandpa is in the hospital and they are having trouble breathing and they need some help. So I'm imagining that my art somehow, through the magic of art, through the magic of everybody making these beautiful lungs, that there's a magical power that goes to them through the window of the hospital. Well, you know, and this magical power is wearing a mask. It's safe. It's going in the window of the hospital, right to the person who needs it. And it's helping them breathe better right now. You can do it too. Think about your magic power that you're putting into your art. What is it doing? Maybe you know somebody who might need some magical art healing. Can you think of somebody that you would want to give it to? You can either give them this art. Maybe you can give this to them. Maybe you can mail it to them. Or maybe it's someone in your house who might need some extra magic. Or maybe it's someone at the grocery store who's working there who needs a little bit of extra love. Because can you believe we all have to stay, we get to stay home, we have to stay home in our houses, but there's some people who have to go to the work so that we can get food, like people who work at the grocery stores. They're taking risks so that we can have food. And if we can give them some art and make them happy, maybe that will make their day better. I'd love to hear your thoughts what you want to do with your magical art powers. In fact, sometimes when I'm making art, I put words on my paintings. Words on my drawings. So I'm going to do that now. Can you see right here? Magical, this is me writing upside down. Magical art powers. I don't know if you can see all that, but it's there and my magical art powers are too. So I know I was told you I was going to sing you a song. I almost forgot. So while I finish this up and you guys continue to work on yours, I'm going to sing you a little song. It's really easy. So if you want to sing with me, if you like to sing, you can join in. It's a song I learned from a friend who loves to sing. And I actually forget who wrote the song. I'll try to find that information out. But it goes like this. When I breathe in... I breathe in peace when I breathe out. I breathe out love when I breathe in. I breathe in love when I breathe out. I breathe out peace. Did I say that right? Let's go in peace. So when you breathe in, you breathe in peace. And when you breathe out, you breathe out love. So peace, you're breathing it in, it can make you feel good. If you're not feeling good, if you're upset, you can breathe in and you can calm down. When you breathe out, you breathe out love so that when you talk to your sister, your brother, your mom, or your dad, you are kind and loving. Sing again. So when I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, 
I breathe out love. It's so easy, so sing with me if you want. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. And you can change the words so they can be anything that you want to breathe in. Maybe you want to breathe in laughter and you want to breathe out uh, funny jokes or something. I don't know. Like anything you want to change it to, you can sing. So, you know, if you want to do... When you want to do, um, let's see, we could breathe in, let's breathe in joy and breathe out laugh. Let's just sing it like that. So when I breathe in, I breathe in joy. When I breathe out, I breathe out laugh. When I breathe in, I breathe in joy. When I breathe out, I breathe out laugh. I'm going to leave a blank and let you put in whatever word you want. When I breathe in, I breathe in. When I breathe out, I breathe out. When I breathe in, I breathe in. When I breathe out, I breathe out. I'd love to know. What you're breathing in, what you're breathing out, my friends. So as you can see, I've finished my lungs. I've colored it all in. It's all done. My magical art powers is ready to go into the world. I don't know where you are. Maybe you finished yours. Maybe you have not finished yours. But... It's okay, wherever you're at. If you want to keep working on them, go for it. If you want to do another one, go for it. If you want to do them totally different, that's that's great. Um, but these are mine. My magical... Oh, it's backwards. Was it backwards for you? This is crazy. Anyway, um, I'm so happy that you guys joined me, and I hope that you keep drawing and keep doing art as a fun way to kind of pass some time if you're not in school or if you're home more than you usually are. And... Um, Come back again because we're going to do more drawings and I'd love to see what you've drawn this project or anything else. So if you want, post a picture, have your mom or dad post a picture and tag my name. And also if you did lungs, tag the hashtag bless your lungs. Have your mom or dad put bless your lungs because we're collecting all these beautiful lungs that everyone's doing and making a prayer so that just like I was talking about so that our art is magical healing in the world. So again, I really hope I get to see what you've done, and um, I hope to see you again, and thank you so much. Lots of love.